Okay, let's get started building something. And the first thing we want is a floor for the player to walk on. So let's create a plane under primitives. So click primitives or shortcut 9 as you can see in the tooltip. Um, and then material, click the brass button which is the three periods. And then go to static objects, um, mansion base, Come on, thank you. Floor, and then just uh, select either. I'm just going to select this floor and click OK. And then you simply drag a square and release the mouse button. OK. Then go to the Select Tool 1 and select it. And then Size. We're going to change it a little because walls are typically. Um, uh, you know, four. I don't know what the unit is, so we're just going to call it units. Four units. So we want this to be, oops, eight, because then it fits with um, two walls, piece, two wall pieces on each side. This is going to be a small room. Um, and um, for planes, you you cannot uh, define a height, a height. Um, because um, you know it's plain, it's you know plain, and it, it is it is one-sided only, so um, it has no side on the other side. Obviously, um, anyway, <coughs> let's place some walls, and we do this under the um, static objects, and then we choose a category which is mansion base. That's that's the style we are going to use for this level and then scroll down to the section called wall and select default 02 you can select um, default I just prefer the wall style um, you know the second wall style and um, as you can see we now have a kind of outline of the uh, object we are about to place and um, let's just zoom in a little and then go over here and place it right on the corner and click so now we have a wall and we're going to place another one next to it right there click so now we've got two walls great now we have to um, rotate this object and while placing it while you're in the static objects um, tool and you see this outline you can um, press Q or W to rotate it so let's press Q a, double, a few times um, and then Place it in the corner. Make sure that it just intersects with the other wall piece. Okay. So now we've got another wall, and okay. So now we've got two walls completed. And then you just um, press Q a few more times to rotate it and place the last walls uh, a few more times place them all here and here okay so now we've got um, the floor and the, the walls complete um, but we need a, a ceiling um, so let's just copy this um, the floor so make sure the select tool is selected and then uh, click the floor and press control D to duplicate it and simply go to the edit menu and click duplicate now the duplicate is created exactly at the same position as the original floor, so uh, we're going to move it up by dragging these um, axes. Okay, but as you can see, as it's one-sided, we um, you know, we have to rotate it to um, to get it face down. So to rotate it you click the rotate um, option on the right or simply press W while the select tool uh, is selected right. um, let me just go through these Q for move for translation W for rotation and E for scale so while you're in the select tool you can use QWE to switch between these um, so press W 
I'll click the button to select rotate and then let's zoom out a bit and let's rotate it over and then Q to select the translation tool and move it over like that so now we've got the roof Wood. um but we want to change the material as a, as we don't want a floor on the ceiling so go to the uh, primitive tab while the ceiling is selected and then at the material click the brass button and then go one back to the parent folder and select ceiling and then just choose either we're going to select this one okay so now we've got our ceiling now it's time to to place some um, some entities you know stuff like um, uh, you know cabinets and and drawers and stuff like that or well yeah so let's go to the entities tool and then select a group uh, we'll start with um, furniture and let's select the cabinet underscore nice and just place it we want to place it up here so let's rotate it a bit wrong way see, as you can see when I uh, misplaced it um, I removed it by simply uh, pressing control plus C um, to undo it as you can see undo control C let's place it again whoops my bad okay and then let's place a nice bed wrong way rotate it like that and let's um hmm chest of drawers nice place that over here or actually let's place it right here you know you can place it wherever you want what the hell oh was the um, previous tutorial that just finished rendering um let's move it up and rotate it okay and let's just place a little table so press 7 or click the entities as you can see 7 is a shortcut and then uh, place um, table nice round place it right here and uh, okay Okay, a pi piano. Piano, let's place it here. And um, a chair. This one. So now we've got a basic room, and I'm going to continue in the next tutorial because uh, yeah, I, I'm I don't have a lot of disk space left. I have <laughs> um, in total I have 1.25 tera, but uh, I've got like 10 gigs left and only two on my C drive. So yeah, see you in the next tutorial.